put it on position 5 if the matchup is not great. And I think also previous series really ESG, proves that LGBT it's not just one style of Dota that these guys are playing. We saw them go with the full force of run at Vici Gaming in this case. And we also saw them laid back and being a little bit more methodical in the laning stage and being able to crush it later on. And I think that is just a hallmark of a good team. Also, one of the things that we keep repeating is in a group stage like this, something that you look for in a team to recognize if team is good is stability and we've seen a lot of instability from a lot seconds. of the teams Remaining. here but not from thunder predator because even the games that they lost lizard Five they still seconds. looked good Remaining. and they only lost two games one two games, two yep, games they're, they're, all. you can see that they're always playing their game you can see those rotations coming from moves they're he's like a clock secure the rune rotate mid at the same yeah. time and they always give him these kind of heroes that are able to accomplish exactly that with Puts the enemy mid on the back foot. However, versus PSG LGD, they need to be a little bit careful because this team is exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. When you look at Jinkyu, when you look at Innocence, it's pretty much the same deal. These two supports will... Is looking if he's losing the lane, they're gonna TP in. They're gonna... Nothing to say. He's gonna get the salve. He's gonna get the mango. He's gonna get the bottle refill. Another salve if necessary. <laughs> you know, Fate Beyond, however, he is sometimes left alone but they do secure the lane for him and because of that he can play these offlanes like uh, nature's prophet and viper like ranged offlaners that worked out so well for them so far even the carries i feel like are very similar like ame once he hits his iron timings loves to play aggressive sometimes too aggressive doesn't go for the bkb because he's just like yeah. feels unstoppable but he, ha he has that same confidence that you see in mnz i feel like and it is something that to do well in these big tournaments, I think you need to have a lot of confidence coming out from your star players. Yes, and two of those star Five players we have in a head-to-head. -head. Uh, we have decided to go for the precision. Four, we have a lot of uh, a lot of awesome Earth Radiant Spirit games team. coming out from Moose, and a lot Falcon. of awesome Tusk games coming out from ZenQ. And that feels like over the entire group stage for all the teams, Earth Spirit versus Tusk Gods. That is the position for battle right now. Yeah, I think coming in, I thought Earth Spirit was going to be the hot position for, but. Uh... For the most teams it became Tusk, Ten except for Thunder Predator. Remaining. Moose has shown that, you know, you other teams may go with Tusk, but I think Earth Spirit's the best for Moose is so far the best Earth Spirit at this tournament. Probably it should remain that way because Zinkyu in the Chinese region, he's the Tusk god. Yeah. At the moment, everyone else step aside. He completely changes the way teamfight goes because of his snowball saves, blinks in. Early on in the game as well, he has Ten many good rotations remaining. with the Tusk. Alchemist first phase pick, I all right. Mean, okay, maybe I was a little right? wrong when I said that they weren't gonna try things out. <laughs> okay, this, uh, for me this screams I is banned, Monkey King second pick, right? If you don't yeah. pick it right now, yeah. you will not get it afterwards. The crazy thing is, it's actually Thunder Predator who banned AA, and I think PSGLG looked at it like, what are hey. they banning AA for? Huh? Let's, they banned AA? Sure, let's just first overall pick an pick elk. It. They see nothing and they just pick, it, like, pick an elk. Well, they just saw the puck, but still. Yeah, th this hero... Um, when it comes to the Chinese and SEA region, hasn't been picked a lot. And why hasn't, been pick, pick, hasn't he been picked a lot? Because he was picked a couple of times and Radiant then everyone just started banning back. him. We don't want to play he's against that. That's just yeah. a little bit too much for us to deal with. You, you never know how fast he's going to get that tags. And the problem with Alchemist as well is he dominates the lane. He, he's, not some, he's, he's not some puny offlaner that's just, you know, there to farm up like on mid lane. No. Level Eight. 1 Ten Acid Spray. Acid maybe. Spray into the stun and yeah. you have a good time. Yeah, they Five did play the, uh, the Alp Radiant earlier team. and they ben. were able to pair it up with the Monkey King. Uh, but this time they give priority to the Nyx Assassin. Yeah, it seems uh, teams seem to be deviating away from Earth Spirit Tusk mostly when it's like a really good Nyx game. And they're looking at this like against Phoenix, being able to cancel the Sunray. Occasionally you can catch the Puck. I don't think it's like a hard count of Puck by any means, but there is that chance you can catch Puck if he's orbiting some creep waves with a Carapace and set up a kill. And this is now Troll, Monkey King, and I would be surprised if Void Spirit isn't the next on the ban list because even though you have the Puck, Void Spirit plus Alchemist is just as scary. It's yeah, the Axe it, Pulse. Exactly. Axe Pulse plus, it's nothing to say. It's pretty remaining. much um, his most played hero. Yep. So you really want to get that away Five from him. And it's just remaining. been the go-to as well. When one team picks Puck, you want to have Those spirits, a yeah. spirit who can at least catch the Puck. You don't counter the Puck, but you have a catch. They actually go for the Ember instead. That, that, that's so, very peculiar. We have yeah. seen a couple of Embers, but... Uh, I don't think that hero is nearly as important as the Void Spirit, but maybe they have a plan behind it. Troll has been banned out as well. Mm. 
Did they play PL? Ten seconds uh, remaining. Thunder Predator? Yeah, I don't think I, so, right? It's not been, at least as far no. as the region goes, it was PSG, not. They haven't played this tournament, it was never actually, a go to pick. Yeah, actually, it's not even picked that. If he's, I, I haven't seen a single PL so far. There have... was one off stream, I know. Off stream, okay, maybe yeah, one. I yeah, saw yeah. one. Okay, on, on this stream, definitely not. There's been two PLs, actually. Yeah. Just got corrected. Because right Alliance picked Zeus, and it was against the PL, I want to say, yeah. in their final game of the tournament. Seconds, uh, speaking of Zeus, PCLCD is also a team that picked Zeus. Okay. And that was in their Alchemist game. Seconds hmm. Very peculiar. Maybe that Zeus was because either they were playing versus some Terrorblade or PL, or yeah. maybe because they were playing against that Prophet. Zeus isn't a hero that's good in the meta, Radiant team but pick. under certain yes. circumstances, you can pick him. Oh, okay, so this makes... Uh, who knows? Carry, maybe? Who knows? Position 5 Mars, <laughs> we've seen it from Thunder Predator as well. Maybe yeah. they just want to take it away from them. But like you said, uh, it just might be some core alchemist that's not a remaining. position three i mean you, uh, particularly when you're picking it with aa band because that's that hard yep. counter to the Five carry alchemist okay, they have to consider now maybe on thunder predator even a morphling who's good versus the mars in the laning stage bulwark is problematic but he's also one of those heroes that just outright wins the matchup versus alchemist later on they have nothing to say has been the one playing mars mid of course quite a bit yeah that's... so uh, they have that as a go-to as well how well does that go against Puck? That is the mid-matchup. I think really... the lane is okay, right? Yeah. But it's yeah. it's hard because you can never reliably he kill the puck. Yeah. Or catch. I saw Mars with puck earlier. It was in the Neon game. And Neon's puck, they, the Mars tried a couple times to catch the puck with a spear into arena. It's just always missed. You just, very easy to dodge. Okay, this is a little bit different Ooh. from PSG LGD overall. Mirana is in their ballpark. They have yeah. played this hero multiple times. Jinkyu um, has different builds, either Radiant the utility or the Yule's Blink catch Denver or even saw. the Agonyms for the damage. But, yeah. Egg killer. At least uh, killer, they, uh, they yeah. can kill the Phoenix ultimate fairly, uh, fairly fast. Very good point. And now Thunder Predator, they abuse that with the Timber pick. Don't really have it. like Timber. Usually, when you remaining. pick an alchemist in this meta, has always been banned. And it's not even the Five lane that he dominates. Remaining. It's the fact that you can rotate that alchemist in the. You always rotate the alchemist to the jungle, and Timber just follows because yeah. you can't kill him. So he can contest those stacks with one or two teammates very easily. It has put them in a position where their MNZ last pick, their carry hero, they're going to be facing all carry bans. Like the carry pool is very small right now. Yeah. Um. What, what do we have left? We have... Wraith King! Wraith King? Well, that's, Wraith King they have Alk played? Is, yeah. is, is pretty it's bad, terrible. Though. You do yeah. not want to ever okay. pick Wraith That's exactly. why it's not banned, because it's been Thunder Predator's best carry, but yeah, when yeah. you have Alk, you do not care about Wraith yeah. King. Yeah. The, the offlane Alchemist feeds on Skellies. That's yeah. the problem. You just mm. put down the acids and you get gold from them. And not only in the lane, throughout the game, you see those Skellies yeah. taking a tower, you just go there, you get like two, three, 300 gold. Uh, another hero Minos has been playing is the Weaver. Comes to mind. Option, yeah, not not terrible actually. We've seen Mars do pretty well against these ranged cores, though. Yeah. I, I'd almost yeah. like rather see kind of like the jug type heroes. And there's also still four bands to go, so yeah, exactly. what's left yeah. behind after that? We got a, a Viper band to make yeah, sure that there's no break coming out there. PA was also would have been a good option for Thunder Predator, also removed. Yeah. Thunder Predator, they're, they're expecting this to be uh, safe lane or mid lane, perhaps Alchemist and same for Mars. Because of that, they ban out the Viper, who's also Ten flexible, obviously. Remaining. You can put him mid, but... Uh, exclusively on PSG LGD, it has been Five the offlane. Yeah. And remaining. for Thunder Predator, I think you're just like, whether they're picking a mid, an offlane, whatever, you want to pick heroes that can cause timber soul problems. Because yep. you pick this timber, it's a great timber game so far. There's some lockdown, some catch, but there's no damage to kill him. So uh, having something like the Viper mm -hmm. with the break would, would work wonders. For sure, you need something versus this uh, timber soul. Some extra burst magic damage or that break. Yeah. Uh, maybe some pure damage as well. Question. Does it think Assassin still have a break? No, PSG. they, they, they took, they took it away in the in one in that one mini patch. Chuck banned out, yeah. Oh. In that one mini patch within uh, and the raid king. Okay, they they, they still banned out the raid wow. king. Yeah. Comfort pick. Yeah, if if the player is godlike on the hero and is winning with it, just get it out. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the first life stealer it's, of the tournament? It's got to be. It's I don't know for sure, but I feel like it has to be. I've been following a lot of the games on the side. Maybe the wild card, we've seen feeling. one uh, in the wild card, but not sure. Oh, they they, they get Razor into it too. They counter it hard now. This is the first lifesteader. That is the 101st hero of the uh, tournament, by the way. Yeah. 
Okay, so with this Razer PSG LGD, uh, they have... That's nothing to say Alchemist, right? Yeah. So yep. they definitely do have late game potential um, with the Alchemist. Uh, Alchemist has a really good time on the lane versus Puck. If Puck is mid lane, which is the case. So you should have a very good time there. Later on, you're going to farm up. Razer should cover the weaknesses against uh, the Timbersaw in the lane. Yeah. And Mirana will buy a vessel. So they do have ways of winning this. It was a great Razor pick. Uh, it, it's going to cause a lot of problems. I think there is a lot of pressure on Frank on his Timbersaw to take over this game because I don't. I, I'm not a big believer in Life Stealer right now. Okay, but can Frank take over? Will he um, take over? I think they have enough answers. I mean, Lizard kind of listed some out there with the Spirit Vessel and the Razor. I, I'm going to have to go with PSG LGD for game. Hater. And your Shiver? <laughs> I'll be go. last. Um, I am going to go looking at the draft. I mean, I don't, I don't believe in the Alchemist. I'm going to go with Thunder Predator. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I respect that, but uh, he is your GD for me as well. I'm going to go with my fellow analyst. I, 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 <laughs> hate I, Achiever. <laughs> what is this? Uh, there's no hate, I swear. A little bit of hate, maybe. No. It's Zero. So you know what? I'm going to go for good Dota because the game doesn't matter for standings. I just want to be treated some great Dota because these two teams have been playing the best Dota so far in the group stage. Let's head over to our commentary duo to enjoy this match together with Odie Pixel and Lacoste. I'm really looking forward to seeing some top stuff here from the top two in the group. And uh, Lacoste, well, what would you make of this? That, that showing of Lifestealer coming out, very quick response with that Razor. Do you think they'll still be able to make the Lifestealer work? If they wanted to meme, why not just go for a Pudge or something, you know, something fun, Lifestealer, definitely not the fun, and it doesn't feel like that good of a Lifestealer game to start with, especially with the Razor pick. The last pick Razor was really on point, you know, he... I, th I think they're gonna have a really good time with the Razor. Also, Alchemist does extremely well against the Puck. Puck's armor is really low for some reason, Acid Spray. Um, no, lowers your armor by quite a lot, uh, and uh, their duration is uh, 22 seconds for whatever reason i think that uh, needs to be patched uh, the next patch we get seems a bit too op absolutely no, nothing to say he's got to be able to farm sorry 16 i was looking at the i was gonna i was looking at the call down no 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 it's no. fine i'm just making mistakes at the start so you know mid cast and the, at the late game i'm yeah. gonna be perfect it's exactly. all good so start low so the expectations when they come in with it started at the bottom still there you know we love it now. Game one. But the Predator versus PSG. And the Predator. Up a, a pretty hot last game. That last series. Let's see if they can keep it going. But PSG LGD is going to bring some problems. We're ready. Why? It's going to be first blood for, for Leo Star. Uh, a very nice little bit of a boost for him. The, the laning stage will be get begin. Obviously, Frank. He's going to be taking them in this game as the Timber. So they have a bit of a yeah, match they, they, the out. I love the, what they did, you know, just switching things around. Because uh, Puck has one armor in the Acid Spray. You have minus three armor. You're literally <laughs> taking 150% of the damage. Top lane. Like, it should still be a good lane for Razor. Good stun by Y. A lot of damage. Stolen by Ame. Ame's getting pretty low, though. The orb, Ame. He nearly goes down there. On the edge of his life. Sort of regen he's got. Tango, they don't actually have a salvo up here on this top lane, so Ame's gonna be able to just slowly regen up, and they can punish that. They come back in. The orb. Ah, he's good. Work. He can uh, try to play I mean, a bit more aggressive. Yeah, he has a Ooh. stick, and the, the, eh, also a fairy fire it doesn't even flinch. <laughs> But yeah, as your position five, you kind of need to have a healing cell for this situations where like you trade and then you can't really, you know, play aggressive for the next uh, 30, 45 seconds if you're just using tangos. There you go. Giving away too much. Yeah, some XDs in the chat. And one more XD and I'm out. <laughs> I'm not gonna try if I can actually write something. I'll. I'll well, you wanted to. Actually I, I back wanted, you know, <laughs> I just wanted you out. <laughs> so mid lane should be pretty good for Frank. You know, he puts an extra point in whirling that or the timber chain to close the gap. Uh, nothing to say. Using a healing cell. Needs to be careful. Nice chilling. Nice to live on the edge here, Frank. 
of anything. Continuing to farm underneath that acid spray to, to sort of send a message. Yeah, he doesn't care. He'll take the damage, you know, with the regen pumping with the passing. New life stealer. He's like old Wraith King. It's actually a, an old knight, you know, the old oh. life stealer where you don't have to use your skills. Like you can play with the mouse pretty much. You just right click someone. That's it. I'll play with the gamepad. You time. could. I, I think that's the hero that could potentially be played with the uh, X5 play, controller. I'll play with voice control. That's how easy it is. How would you control a hero like? Right, right, right. Up, 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 down, down. I would just, I would just simplify it for myself. You know, I would just say, make a rampage. Make a rampage. Top leg. I still jump there from here, stuff. Watching the stun and doing pretty well against that razor. I mean, already have that one kill against Army. Army can't really afford to be dying in this lane. Mid lane. Is there ever a lane where you can afford to be dying? Uh, Not really, huh? No. <laughs> no there is. So yeah, take that back, That's... please, so we can, you know, focus on the game. <laughs> I don't know how how strong Life Stealer is. Um, I would put him somewhere closer to the bottom, especially at the like early stages. Once he gets the items, he's uh, very annoying to play against. Frank diving in deep on the mid lane, but Ame, yeah, he gets the kill. Leo Star, oh. is he gonna be able to get far? He is. Very smoothly done there as well, making sure he gets a right click in so that the, the instance of damage blocked by the spike carapace was, was the right click rather than the damage from the orb. Can guarantee that kill safely. Moose, smoke on a mid lane, has a 1 1 1 build that allows him to. It's mana consuming build, but uh, you can make stuff happen, nothing to say in the jungle. Man, love me some jungle heroes. Booze up, booze your Four focus. minutes in, guys, yep. I can't lane. Has been killed. Playing against booster, can't lane mid. Radiant structures are fortified. Top lane, Moose. He's coming in with a DD gank onto Arme. Arme, he's in a lot of trouble, this hurts. And Moose, oh, he's gonna be able to get it. Why tries his best there with a the stun. For a second, it looked done. like why killed him with the stun. Yeah, Leo style. Going for Earth of Shadows, I like that, you know, just adjusting uh, the item build a lot because he is playing the side lanes, even though we see sometimes Fox on the mid lane building that urn. Yes. It's very random one the mid lane right now. JC, getting gone upon here, ZQ's trying to jump in to finish it off. Another stick charge from MJZ and another fairy fire. MJZ just baiting him in. As MJZ, he's going to be able to live. And now, MNC's able to turn over to Faith Beyond. He's so pretty far. He's gonna slow. Be slow. Oh. It's enough. Three more hits, I would uh, say. I think one more, two more. He's not going to be able to do it. Quite he strong tried. enough to slow at just level one. Yeah, movement's flow 25%, one that's maxed out. And 50% uh, 50, 50 attack speed, which is uh, pretty okay. Once you get that phase, like it's very hard to run away from it. Moves with a, with a lovely little move. Line shot with there. the moves. With the moves. This man's got the power to move. Amen. Oh, gotta die again. I mean, they're top lane. They're, they're doing an excellent job. Oh, moves. Nice to done again. Goes back inside. Very smooth. Oh, I hope this cast is not a snooze festival. It's looking spicy. And if it is, then the, the chat will certainly lose out on the entertainment. Button. Yeah, you gotta get into those. All right, grooves. I better stop before we start getting the booms. <laughs> the one. Okay, lead. Leo, dude, Leo Star's got six kills. I just want to say he's he's got the ball up there. This is a six-kill puck. It's also a six, you know, assist task. That's true. I mean, both very good, whatever angle you look at it from. Unless you look at it upside down and then it'll look like it's a death instead of a kill. But you're looking at it straight up, bottom lane. Moving over to Faith Beyond. And Austin's ready to dive in. And Faith Beyond, he's going to try and run. And they've got MJZ with a final punch, Dyer's final ball of fire. Seven for one, Thunder Predator. They are, 
they are handling these lanes very, very nicely. Tom well, Leo style. Wants to go for this. There is a stun. Or. Oh. The ship fades it out. Now Arme's in with the static link. Leo style can get himself fired up away. He can. He's got a fire. He's got a fire. He's got a stick. He's not scared at all. Has been killed. What's up with the fluffy hats and mix assess? Like, they, they just love the item. They do, I think, yeah, but especially PSGLGD, we see a lot of their players really tend to try and put them in. So I think, I think Mind Control it, started it, you know, started this whole thing yeah, with the floppy cat. It really has. It's the current fashion. Very hot right, hot right now. There's nothing to say. Moves. One more hit. Has he got it in him? Shard will do it in a few seconds. Jukes. Or... Nothing oh, to oh, say, but, nice. you know, nothing he also to... has the moves. Yeah, nothing to say, nothing to see. Find him there. Move along. Buck is level 6, no coil. Going straight into Spirit Vessel, which is going to be great. Against the Alchemist. Now, is he? Always an essential. There's nothing to say. Going for that Battle Fury build, of course. No surprise to see, he's wanting to get his farm on. It's not that worth at the moment, but not, but not by far. Not as far as you'd want to be as an Alchemist. Uh, but Frank, Leo Stalin, and even Minos. Uh, nearly just as farmed as the mid alchemist so far, eight minutes in. Frank pulling them underneath the tab. PSG they have to bring three in to deal with this aggression of Frank. That they can't kill him. Like, these three heroes just cannot kill him. Even if uh, towers are hitting him, he's way too tanky. With just four points Dyer's in a reactive armor. Tower. Going into Sunday. hood, everything they have pretty much is magical damage anyway. Nick's Assassin's Vendetta doesn't even apply break anymore. Mid tower, moves. Well, we get the last hit. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. They got on Frank. They, they're just sort of, they're playing so much Dyer's in the faces of PSG LG. They're just over in their triangle. A Thunder Predator, they're not giving, giving PSG LG any sort of space to do anything. It's just full control for Thunder Predator. Frank, he's in. He's Frank? near the tier three tower. Dyer's like this is the perfect is hero for Frank to yeah. tank. Like if oh, someone can tank is. that much, it, it is ever so. Amen. Good old Frank. Easy pick up. Frank. Frank. He just doesn't, he doesn't die. He's not dying to this. Maybe if White gets the sun. He's out of mana. Has the magic wand in a second. And then Sol Ring. Can Moose help him? Snowball. Oh, the snowball. Oh, Beautiful moves! My goodness, this boy comes out for play after play today. The ah. moves saving Frank, Leo style. Tanks the arrow. Uh, more than Frank, Frank, that's but... Frank's job. I mean, let's, I don't know why Leo Style went in, but he did. Uh, even if he used the snowball there, like the region would kick in. His regeneration per second is 45. Uh, with the snowball duration, like you, you get almost uh, 200 HP back. It's incorrect, Matt. You know, I like to round up the numbers. Yeah. But Leo started dying there. I mean, uh, they sort of just jumped in. I guess it maybe sort of took a moment to take his hands off the keyboard to give a clap for Moose, and then next thing he knew, he was in the middle of it all. But after a, a 6 0 0 KDA, you know, hit there with that one death, but ready to get back out on the map. The three of them Leo Star, Moose, and MJZ. Supernova is up. Let's see what they can do with this. Smoke. Moose still level. Five, even though he's involved in eight kills. Frank just being in the middle, being annoying. Mars needs one CS to be level six. Lifestealer going for Battle Fury. How do you like that? Wait, what? Oh, he, he's uh, cosplaying Siege Creep units right now. Hey, mid lane, look at this go here. Straight on top of nothing to save with a supernova. Oh my goodness, the outfit stand a chance. And now with the coil holding space beyond underneath the supernova done. They're gonna head over towards him. Frank cuts down a second. Double kill for Frank. They will lose moves in return. Shin Q and White. For Tusk in return. Well, aggression continues from Thunder Predators. They're just set on taking these fights deep behind the tier That was such a PSG great move, team. actually. You know, them smoking behind the Timberso, who's playing between tier 2 and tier 3 tower. Timber chain away, arrow misses. Symphony of skills. Stun also misses. Pretty electric, I would say. You remember that song. If you're electric. Maybe, maybe you don't. It's from, I think it's from like 
Dota 1, maybe start of the Dota 2 days, like a oh, lot of... Oh, it's one of those original sort of highlight compilation yeah, yeah. soundtracks that was used to... A lot of electricity this game. Razor on roll one side. On the other side we have... What, what do we have on the other side again? Well, we have the team itself, so Thunder Predator. You get more electric than Thunder. That's the way it's Thunder Electric. Yeah, it must be, right? I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like it. Looks it looks electric. like it, you know, we'll just go with it. So, I'm sure there's a big power plug up in the sky shooting out the Thunder. That's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah, this is like... Yeah. Scientific cast, you learn about Dota, you learn about nature, physics, math. You don't even need to go to school. You just need to sit here and watch us. Don't go to school. That is Listen. terrible advice, kids. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're not going to go there. Get some education. Get some education. And then you can be smarter than us. Yeah, you just have to finish the second grade and uh, you got it. Is that after the first grade? There we go in the jungle. Leo Star rolling over. They've got the dream card down on the two. They're taking out the Razor. They'll lose moves. They don't care. Mars. Right behind. Puts up the shield. He starts to back away. And Leo Star's in on top of them. And the magic damage between the two of them. And a slowly burn fate beyond down. Spear. Yeah, that will not do it. Heard of Shadow. We'll finish off the job. 14 for 5, Thunder Dyer's Predator. Do you know what's active attack. from Earth of Shadows called without looking? Uh, Burn of Shadows? No, Soul Release. Oh, that was close. I'll change it now. So yeah, 4k gold lead for Thunder Predator. They're um, making some aggressive spicy, moves spicy. around the map. They've taken Tier 1 Tower on the mid lane. Tier 1 tower on the top. Timberso going for the Lotus Orb, which is a sick item against... Right. Yeah, you, you just want to protect your life stealer with it, you know, the static link. That's your job, because Razor has one job. Use it on the life stealer, pretty much. Battle Fury almost done. Why is it called Battle Fury anyway? Like, if you're farming, shouldn't it be called, like, Farm, farm Fury? I don't know, but every time I buy it, my teammates get pretty furious. <laughs> Battle Furious. Alchemist, also his Battle Fury done on top of the two Bracers going into S and Y. Pretty standard stuff. Get some status resistance, then HP regeneration amplification. Oh, Frank. Oh, shot all moves again! Oh, oh, oh. These shards are just the creme de la creme of shards here from moves. Beautiful placement every single time. He traps them out, they can't run. They cannot run here. Now, why? He's trying to, but Frank's on top of him. String call down, they're not messing about. They want the kill, they get the kill. Two more here for Thunder Predator. The movements continue, the pressure stays on. Nice done by TP. Lifestealer still, you know, not joining any fights, just uh, farming the Ancients, farming the Radiant's Triangle with that Battle Fury. Uh, going into Yasha, which is okay, he wants to be able to be more speedy, get away from Razor Static Link. Tibberso. Lotus Orb done. I see Guardian Greaves. I press like because um, mm -hmm. you just want to be you know, tanky enough. Uh, extra mana region. You're playing against the Nyx Assassin as well. A lot of overtime damage coming out from that uh, Spirit Vessel and the Phoenix. I think Phoenix just finished off the Veil. So that's going to help out quite a lot. A lot of magical damage. Oh, oh. Nice. Supernova. Oh, it's a little far away. But, uh, not that it matters, as Moose and Frank seem to be doing it on their own. Sunbreak comes out, MJ, he didn't even need to be anywhere close with the Supernova. The job is still a successful one, as uh, Arme still goes down. Thunder Predator just continuing to, to make this game one so far. Look, pretty easy. I mean, sure, it's only 4k lead, but I uh, say only, that that's definitely more than it seems. Because yeah, there's an out. alchemist on exactly. the enemy team. So, exactly. So, it's more if like you a had 50 to choose a number, 50, oh, 50, okay, <laughs> you just added a zero. Added a zero. I would, you know, maybe round up at 10, but getting one. Yes. Done. Not only so here, she has to be able to make a move for themselves like that. Lose. Uh, he's gonna need some backup. It's coming in. Frank's heading over. Jin Y and Faith Beyond. They're, they're sticking around. Actually, Frank's DP is gonna be put to a stop. I believe probably cancelled in the mid lane. 
Uh, so MJZ comes down instead. No supernova though. MJZ will die. Die. Has a healing cell. Ah, got the urn. Light shadow. Life stealer. Yeah, you don't have any abilities. You can't really do much. Just try to right click, rage. We'll get a kill on Nick's assassin at least. All money for the farm of Minos. Frank has just been sitting on a mid lane pretty much forever. The Lotus of Sir Concoction. Yeah, let me put the set back over. There was nothing to say. They'll keep the link going. Frank. The escape, but he's got the backup. Boost comes over with the circle. It's straight onto Arme. Arme just blown up at the front of it all. The SGLGD not with the means to, to be able to protect it. And the Predator have so much burst with the lead that they have. Like, even with the Spirit Vessel on Marana, it's gonna be very hard to kill this Timber, so has a way of dispelling things once he gets that Guardian Boost, which, you know, he still needs, like, five minutes to finish off. It's a costly item. So, second way of dispelling things. And some extra mana regeneration, which is gonna be nice. And Life Stealer, he keeps farming. Dyer's middle tower is under oh. attack. By carapacing the cleave of the battle fury to try and send it somewhere. Arena's down by Minos. He's already put the raid. They head over with the snowball straight over the walls. by TP's coming in for PSGLGD. Why? He's gonna be able to do with the final team despite Carapace, but they'll get the first. This is a good supernova. It's holding the high ground here. PSGLGD, they've got to really consider if they want to stay fighting around it. In fact, keeps him alive as Minos is able to jump into moves. Survive for this as they'll move on, diving up towards the tier three. The Sunray burning down Faith Beyond as four dead on LGD. Once again, Thunder Predator proving that this game is it's just impossible for PSG LGD to fight aggressive. back into this line. They're so fast to react to what's uh, happening on the map. Uh, good attack. try from Y, you know, uh, use that carrot face on the cleave, but uh, Timberson says, bro, come inside Dyer's of me, I'll protect you. Lifestealer hops in with the infest, and now after he finishes at SNY, like, the stuns are not gonna matter that much. Uh, the extra status resistance will kick in. He will be a bit more tanky. Hits level 15, extra 25 damage. Like, this, this life is having a really dream game, even though, you know, he's playing into Razor. Dyer's middle tower has Tetsu's finally taken out here. Dyer's Frank finally. So, as you know, he's, he's done sort of fighting behind it. I'll push it down with the creep wave. KB out on nothing to say, but still very hard for him really to have any sort of impact in these fights. 0 1 and 0. Been a very unimpactful un game so far from the Alchemist. From the side of Thunder Predator, they're just getting so much done. Into the Roche pit they head. Frank still keeping the attention away from that area, pushing in mid. PSG LGD, they've got to make a decision if they can if they even try and get over in. They're not going to be able to. It goes no, down just quickly. Going down fast. Why? He's cutting things out. Tusk already has a blink dagger, so he can be the one. You know, creating the saves inside the Mars Radiant's Arena when they initiate on someone, two. plus infest. Uh, like they, they have so many ways of protecting attack. each other. Sunray is maxed out on top of that. They're relying so much on the Alchemist. Like, in terms of net worth lead, like, it's going down because Alchemist is uh, still farming. Nothing to say, nothing to be involved in as well. 0-1-0 zero, zero score. But uh, he will be fight ready soon. And they still can't deal with Frank Mid. Frank has just lived his life right underneath the tier 3 tower. He's even diving it. He's looking for Faith Beyond. Beyond will be able to save himself, pushing Frank back with the spear. That's where Minos, he's killed on Marma, and over the the base, nothing to say, is trying to turn up. This could be a bit problematic. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, Maybe. Sunray, keeping he? him alive. That's, is that healing him up? He's gonna be able to get he the low He still has it. Frank is gonna live. The dream goes out onto the grid of the Supernova's one, but it's still alive. Not the gonna pop up with nothing to say. The snowball picks up Frank. Frank, he'll live. You can't flank the Frank. You cannot. Passive hood. He didn't even flinch, did not want to pop it, even though it's uh, 75 mana. Moose? Nah, he can't get out of this one, can he? Oh, I think he can, he just Snowball, and punch plus it. a blank dagger. Okay, he's he's okay. Like they, they're just, Nobody's dying on Thunder Prince. As I said, you know, they're keeping um, everyone safe. Multiple saves, infest, sunray, snowball. Dealt some damage on the tower, they don't have too much tower damage at the moment. Like, Lifestealer needs to get another item, another two items. 
I love that build. I've seen, I believe it was Navi's carry player, like... I'm not sure if it was like the current Navi roster that is playing right now. But he was playing against the Alchemist and I believe more. Like Armlet into Scotty, just to cripple both of them. Like the regeneration is so good and extra slow. Look at Minos. He's just running straight in. He knows he's going to have the back. But Leo's down. He comes with the silence on the two of them. Jump off from Minos. Also nothing to say. That's the out. Dead and gone for 50. Over one while they down. It's a good stun on the three of them. The arrow comes out. Well, stun moves, but the heals are there from... It's Phoenix, it's Sunra every time from NJZ, keeping them topped up and not in a position for PSG LGD to be able to commit and actually finish up, finish anybody off. Yeah, I feel like PSG LGD is not playing Dota. They don't have the answer for this. Timber star, he's coming in. Faith Piano turn with the arena. It's a swing and a miss. Leo style pretending he's AFK. Look at that one. I, I love that. Is he, actually he is, he is. No, he's he is. <laughs> Check the box. Oh my goodness. They're feeling it right now. He's going to come back in. Dream calls out. They take out wide. They beat up Faith Beyond. I believe this They've might be enough. it. They've yes, they're enough. calling it. Nothing they can do anymore in this oh game. Like, they got outplayed so hard. Like, Timber, this Timber Soul was causing so many issues. Like, no real response. And I love that smoke behind the Timber Soul. But he was playing so aggressive. They get surprised. Just to. Uh, Nice stuff, like Thunder Predator as a team looks super crispy, even though they are already, you know, qualified for the playoffs, they're still giving 100% Absolutely. each and every single game. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is just a continuation of this incredible level of Dota uh, that Thunder Predator have been bringing out.